Let me tell them the following. To do what is right is to respect the principles of non-interference in the domestic affairs of other countries. Sosok diplomat muda Indonesia Silvani Austin Pasaribu mencuri perhatian. Saat ia mewakili Indonesia menggunakan hak jawab di sidang umum PBB soal tuduhan Vanuatu mengenai dugaan pelanggaran HAM di Papua. Dengan tegas dalam pidatonya di sidang umum PBB, Silvani meminta negara Pasifik itu untuk berhenti mencoba mencampuri urusan dalam negeri Indonesia. Saya bingung. Bagaimana bisa sebuah negara berusaha mengajarkan negara lain, tapi tidak mengindahkan dan memahami keseluruhan prinsip fundamental piagam PBB, kata Silvani dalam pidatonya seperti dikutip dari akun resmi PBB. Silvani mengatakan bahwa Indonesia sebagai negara yang memiliki berbagai budaya, ratusan kelompok etnis, suku, dan bahasa, berkomitmen pada isu HAM. Kami menghargai perbedaan, menghormati toleransi, dan setiap orang memiliki hak yang sama di negara demokrasi terbesar ketiga di dunia ini. Lanjutnya, di akun LinkedIn-nya, Silvani mencantumkan bahwa ia menempuh jurusan ilmu politik Universitas Pajajaran, kemudian melanjutkan sekolah dinas luar negeri. Selanjutnya Silvani melanjutkan pendidikan master di University of Sydney. Mengutip dari website kemlu.go.id, Silvani saat ini menjabat sebagai sekretaris kedua fungsi ekonomi untuk perutusan tetap Republik Indonesia untuk Perserikatan Bangsa-Bangsa di New York AS. Sebelumnya Silvani juga pernah menjabat sebagai atas sekedutaan RI di Inggris. Di akun LinkedIn-nya, Silvani mencantumkan bahwa ia menempuh jurusan ilmu politik Universitas Pajajaran, kemudian melanjutkan sekolah dinas luar negeri. Selanjutnya Silvani melanjutkan pendidikan master di University of Sydney. Kumparan jadi bagaimana menurut Anda? By guising their advocacy for separatism with flowery human rights concern. Indonesia, comprising of more than hundreds of ethnic groups, a diverse and multicultural nation, with thousands of tribes and hundreds of local languages, spreading across more than 17,400 islands, is committed to human rights. We value diversity, we respect tolerance, And everybody has the same right in this third largest democratic country in the world. We have also promoted and protected human rights where each individual has the same rights under the law. Furthermore, we have ratified the International Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Racial Discrimination. While interestingly, Vanuatu has not even signed it. And how could one talk about promoting the right of indigenous people when it does not even sign the International Covenant on Economic, Social, and Cultural Rights, the core human rights instrument? This actually raises the question, Do they really care about indigenous concern? More importantly, Vanuatu has not signed and ratified the Convention Against Torture and Other Cruel, Inhuman, or Degrading Treatment or Punishment. We call on the government of Vanuatu to please fulfill your human rights responsibility to your people and to the world. Madam President, the accusation of human rights is typical. A tall tale that they sell and stage over the years in the hall. Let me tell them, you are no representation of the people of Papua and stop fantasizing of being one. 
Papuans are Indonesians. All of us play an important role in the development of Indonesia, including on the island of Papua. Madam President, the principles of the UN Charter, which Vanuatu clearly does not seem to understand, stipulates the respect for sovereignty and territorial integrity. Indonesia will defend itself against any continuing advocacy of separatism conveyed under the guise of artificial human rights concern. The provinces of Papua and West Papua are irrevo irrevocable parts of Indonesia since 1945. It has also been firmly endorsed by the United Nations and the international community decades ago. It is final, irreversible, and permanent. I thank you, Madam President.